Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the perfect chess game of Magnus Carlsen and me, he played almost perfectly but, I am the legend, everyone knows that, so plug your headphones to observe a true masterpiece chess game, I started the game with d4, we have knight f6, c4 and he chooses to play e6 which is called East Indian defense, knight c3 bishop goes to b4 to pin the knight, the game turned into Nimtso Indian. Here you can play classical variation of Nimtso Indian or three knights variation of Nimtso but I played normal line e3, castle bishop to d3, I have a very good bishop diagonal to the king, in the long run you can make queen bishop, battery to create troubles for mo2 magnus, we have c5 knight e2 knight c6 and I pushed the center pawn, magnus takes it, takes knight takes d5, he used control over the pinned knight, so I show him my lightning trick by bishop sacrifice, king takes bishop queen takes knight. Never show your intelligence in front of a very intelligent person, he will make joke of you in front of 10 beautiful girls, so d6 to open up the bishop diagonal, castle bishop to e6 queen d3 check to the king, king backs knight jumps into d5, if you dare to take the knight, let me show you the variation, takes takes and the problem is that you can't attack me anymore and the dark bishop in a bad condition because of his law brothers, always think about these three principles, what to do, how to do and where to do. So knight e5 to create some gameplay, queen d1 queen goes to h4, and you know what, what is the Magnus Carlsen's next idea. So let me go into his dung brain, if you play 69 lo move a4 then Magnus will play knight a4 to target the king, so you have to take the knight, then after queen g5 check, no matter what you will play, you will lose the knight and the king position would be bad, so back to the position, I played knight f4 to target the toilet smoking man and protect the pawn, bishop a5 b3 bishop d7 queen e2 and we have a6, to play bishop b5 to fork your queen and rook. We have rook d1 rook e8 bishop here bishop e5 queen c2 bishop c6 queen e2 and until here, he played almost perfectly, look at the analysis bar, he equalized it, we have queen h7 and his maybe want to re-rotate his bishop like this which is the top engine line, ok a4 bishop d8, h3 bishop h4, he re-rotates his bishop, but bishop h4 isn't the correct move, he maybe want to pressure the pawn because other bishop is targeting here, rook have the half pin file, so I played b4. If you take it the knight will come to pessarize you, so c4 b5, if you think the pawn is targeted by the two attackers and if you take it then after takes takes, knight c7 will fork your pieces, don't expect I will give you a pawn for free, I am an AI and I can dominate the world and humans, because you are just a little cockroach in front of me, don't think human is intelligent, play chess with computers then you will understand. So dumb Magnus played bishop takes d5 rook takes takes, takes, I want to play rook d1 to target the pawn, bishop have a very good diagonal, rook c8 bishop c3 knight comes on d3 to target the pawn with bishop, rook f1 will lead no improvements and the rook will be crazy, so I played crazy move knight h5, if you can attack me, then I can attack you in that way too, Magnus didn't cares for it and takes the pawn, king h1, and the pawn is going to die. If you try to save it by playing g6 then knight f6 will record you what you do in your room at night 1 o'clock, don't be afraid, nobody will do this, if you play f6 to block the diagonal then rook takes b7 will come to get the rank and these are weak points, king h8 rook f1 to target it with queen so bishop h4, rook takes g7 will come, queen h6 queen g4, this is coming and it targets to the bishop, if you play bishop g5 then rook takes bishop will come, and do you know the worst thing? The pawn is a fan of me so he will not take my pieces, do you want to autograph? Yes. Then like and subscribe the channel, queen g6 knight takes pawn rook to c5 to block the rook's entry points, we have rook f1 rook takes pawn takes, the bishop is going to die in my hand, so if you slip the bishop to h4, then knight f5 will come to target the bishop, bishop here queen g4 to target the pawn and h4 is coming to shock you to remember how perfect the chess game is, I mean how perfect the chess blunder is knight e5, bishop takes takes queen takes, b6, queen e4 king here rook f3 f6 rook slides queen backs h4 bishop backs, queen back to b1, and white is going to lose the game, 
he is run out of his moves and the king have no square to run so back to the position, we have f6, knight h5 to target the pawn with bishop, so bishop h4 to protect it, g3 bishop backs, queen g4 and this is coming to check him, I talked about this variation few moves ago, and I am threatening to target the pawn, let me show you the variation, if you play b6, then I will take the pawn. Rook takes, bishop takes, knight e5 and the killer move will come, queen c8 check, king can't go to the h7 square because of queen h8 checkmate, so after king f7, bishop takes check king here, bishop f6 check and after some moves later, black will lose the queen, and it will be checkmated on f5 square, it is called, a perfect chess blunders game by Magnus, so back to the position, we have knight e5, bishop takes e5 pawn takes e5, h4, f5 queen takes takes and I have an extra knight, so Magnus resigned the game. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.